Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're going to make a strawberry and oats crumble bar. So this particular strawberry oats crumble bar is a breakfast recipe as well as a snack recipe. And again, this can be made ahead if you have a busy schedule in the morning. And uh, this is an easy recipe. Oven does most of the work. So if you want to see how to make this yummy, delicious, strawberry oats crumble recipe let's watch the video so for the uh, strawberry bars here i have taken one cup of rolled oats this is just plain rolled oats and then i have taken one and a half cup of poha so this is white flattened rice so i've taken one and a half cup and this is the thin paper variety you can take the other one as well okay taken that and I've taken three-fourth cup of whole wheat flour now if you don't want to use whole wheat flour then you can just take three-fourth cup of uh, oat flour as well by just powdering three-fourth cup of oats so here I've taken three-fourth cup of whole wheat flour two pinches of salt I've taken half a cup of ghee here and then I've taken um, three-fourth cup of jaggery you can reduce it to half a cup if the strawberries are extremely sweet or if you want less sugar just add half a cup of um, jaggery so these are the ingredients that uh, we are going to need for uh, making our strawberry bars the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just put the strawberries in a bowl I'm going to add in two tablespoons of jaggery to it. I'm going to add two tablespoons of whole wheat flour to it. And I'm going to mix this well. Okay, once I mix it, I'm going to just leave it aside. I'm going to leave this aside. Now into a bowl, I'm going to add in our poha and oats and to that I'm going to add in the whole wheat flour the jaggery salt and I'm going to give this a good mix I'm not sure if I mentioned but I've taken two cups of strawberries which I have um, diced so you yeah, just made it into small pieces you can see okay. so this is mixed now into it I'm going to add our ghee one spoon at a time till the whole thing resembles of uh, the whole thing gets coated with ghee or it now this is done and if you look it looks like a crumbly mixture now if you feel your mixture here is a little dry then do add one or two tablespoons of ghee just to make it like this if you can see okay this is the consistency we are looking for okay now i've taken a pan that i have lined with parchment paper and i'm going to put three fourth of the mixture into the pan Okay, approximately three fourth, and I have reserved half of the mixture for the topping. You just spread it across. Taken a bowl, and I'm going to just press it with the back of a bowl. I already have another video with the mango crumble recipe, mango crumble bar. If you want, you can have a look at that as well. I'll leave a link to it in the description box. Okay, once it's tightly pressed. Add the strawberries on top. Just add in all of the strawberries. Just spread it across. Ok, 
press it and then add in the rest of the crumble on top make sure that it covers the whole pan or the covers the strawberries okay that's done so our um, crumble bar is baked so let's see i've just let it cool a little bit before i slice into it See that do you see that so it's loaded with yumminess so that's it our crumble bars are ready now you see you can bake it ahead of time and uh, have this for breakfast or keep it as a snack option as well um, you can um, store this in the refrigerator for up to five days and then you can eat it eat it cold or you can eat it hot do try this recipe out and if you do like it do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you again with another video until then bye bye